Hello, my name's Andrew, and these are the Softstar Primal Runamox, the best wide barefoot shoes for walk, hike, and run. A couple weeks ago, I reviewed the Softstar Dash Runamox, which is a lightweight barefoot shoe that's great for anyone who wants a more traditional toe box. But if you're looking for less beauty and more beast, then you probably want to slip your barefoot claws into the Primal Runamox because the Primal is handcrafted in Oregon with an extra wide foot shaped toe box and a stretchy leather upper that molds perfectly to your feet. Up front, there's a wrap around toe guard with reinforcement panels on the side, plus heel padding and a soft suede lining for going barefoot. Underneath, my Primals have an ultra thin two millimeter Vibram road sole that's flexible in both directions, but you can also swap it out for a five millimeter hybrid sole for roads and trails or a more aggressive six millimeter sole for hardcore trekking. Like the Softstar Dash Runamuck, you can customize everything about the Primal down to the leather, laces, and tread with 36 different colors. Also, I love that Softstar ships their shoes in this eco-friendly repack pouch because once you receive your order, all you have to do is flip down the return address and drop it in the mailbox so that it can get reused. Having kind of narrow feet, I was worried the Softstar Primal might be a little too wide, but the leather hugged my feet so well that they fit like a glove. Also at 210 grams, the Primals are some of the lightest barefoot shoes I own, and they're so responsive you just want to take off running. Doing sprints at the track, the 2mm soles felt super springy, but they have very little tread so they're not the best option for wet surfaces. If you decide to get the five or six millimeter sole, then the primals can work just as well for long trail runs. And the rib laces and stretchy leather create a better lockdown than any shoe I've ever worn. While the two millimeter Vibram tread isn't made for roads, it's still extremely tough. And unlike most road treads, it can actually stand up to a bit of hiking on rocks and gravel. That said, I wasn't used to the wider sole, so I had to catch a couple roots before my brain readjusted. Another great use for the Softstar Primal is for going on long walks. And like my Vibrams, they look so different that they're always starting conversations. Plus, they're so soft you can even wear them barefoot, but if you want to keep them clean you can use a pair of thin and gingy merino toe socks. Finally, the primals are super cozy for cool and rainy days, but they can get a little hot above 75 degrees. Although if you live in a hot climate, you could probably ask Softstar for some custom perforation. Overall, the Softstar Primals are one of the most unique, comfortable, and versatile barefoot shoes I've ever tried. Because the extra wide toe box and stretchy leather create a perfect balance of freedom and snugness, the three sole options can cover any terrain, and the customizable colors make for infinite possibilities. However, the Primals definitely don't look like a normal shoe, the extra width can take some getting used to, and the upper isn't as breathable for hot weather. In terms of similar barefoot shoes, the Vibram V-Trek has a wide toe box with a breathable wool upper, separate toes, and a 4mm high hybrid tread for roads and trails. The Belenka Dash has an extra wide toe box with a softer 4mm tread for roads and a breathable mesh that's great for casual. And the Barefoot Ursus has a triple wide toe box with a suede upper and a solid 7mm sole that's ideal for cross training. If you'd like to support the channel, you can shop with the referral links down below or watch my zero drop transition video to learn more about barefooting. Finally, if you have a question about the Softstar Primals or about barefoot shoes in general, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Peace.